friends, this is Marishi, you're my channel Shiloka. I've already pulled out five cards to see what is the story which is coming through for this week. We've got the two of pentacles in reverse as the first card. We've got the six of pentacles in reverse. Center of the reading is a death card. We've got the seven of swords in reverse and the last card is a two of wands. Behind the deck is a wheel card. Okay, I just broke the deck and I can see two cards which is the eight of cups and the five of cups. And I can see the Queen of Swords as well. Okay, anyways. Aquarius. Yes, Queen of Swords. Um, there is an area, energy about letting go. Something is not working. Okay? Something is not working. When I see the five cups, lots of uh, regrets, lots of disappointments with regards to a situation. Someone is uh, with the Queen of Swords. Yes, and the Eight of Cups, it makes sense. Um, someone is making the decision to let go, to walk away, okay? Um, to separate ways, if it is a relationship reading, to separate ways. Somebody is letting go, okay? It's not working anymore for them. There is not happ uh, nothing happening much. There's nothing happening. Whatever it was, you held on to this for a very long time. You know? And now, you're making the decision. You're making the decision, which is a wise thing to do. You're making the decision to not sit and juggle with this anymore. You might have uh, stalled it, okay? You might have tried to bring some kind of a balance for some time, but yet it did not work. With the death card in the center of the reading, you are deciding to move on, putting everything which did not work out. With, even with the Six of Pentacles, I'm going to say there is no um, back and forth energy. It has completely come to a standstill. Someone is deciding to move on from things which is not working. Hmm? Complete transition. Leaving everything which is not working in the past. Just letting it be in the past itself. Okay? You're willing to move on. Someone is um, looking forward. Someone is deciding to move on and looking out there. Which is a good energy actually. Hmm? It's way better than being stuck in something which is not working and contemplating. Okay? Or wasting your life just trying to figure out. Rather, make the decision. Even if it means you are disappointed. Okay? Even if it means... It brings you so much unhappiness, remorse, walking away. You have to walk away from something which is, you know, very shallow, which is not working for you. Yeah. You don't want to be in this face anymore. This unhappy face. It's, it's, it's just, just toxic. Just stop there. I would say something has been revealed. Even with the seven of swords up here, something has been revealed. That is the reason why you are walking away. I also want to say there is a third party involvement. Okay, just looking at the five cups and the eight of cups, there might be some, some uh, you know, external uh, energy which is influencing your um, decision to walk away. I also want to say, you were um, hanging on to this energy, which I picked up earlier. You were hanging on to this energy for quite some time. You stalled your decision for quite some time. Because you were under some kind of an illusion about things working out. But now, something has been revealed. 
I guess something is out there. Something which was hidden. Hmm? What is this card? Ace of Pentacles. Um, something is very much clear for you now. It is not uh, in the dark. It is not a mystery anymore. It is completely unveiled. Okay? And you know, um, it has slipped out of your hand. You didn't want to, before, you didn't want to uh, accept, accept that, you know, reality of the situation. There is an energy about de being delusional with these two cards together. Uh, your head was being clouded hmm? uh, into making a decision because you didn't want to. That is why you were stalling it. You were contemplating. What if? You know? But now the, you're in a phase where you have to make that decision to walk away because even if it is disappointing you regards to not having the chance or the potential okay to make it walk uh sorry to make it work anymore with the prince of wands in reverse or something like which it doesn't have the potential to you know go somewhere and now everything is pretty much clear how things are going to be from here on hmm? because you are in the process of moving on from something which is not working out a very simple message yes behind the deck was the will card so somebody is taking charge of their own um, life okay somebody is deciding how their life should be there is a far vision When you're making the decision to leave everything which is not working and, you know, move on, you are seeing um, far ahead. Or at least you are wanting some kind of a future to manifest for you. A change in your current life. Yes. And you're very much determined. Okay. And you will go to any extent to make that work for you. Oh, wait. No. Oh. I was always say somebody was not happy about the whole situation. Somebody is pushed into not having um, a chance so there is so much regret which is coming through even walking away and making this decision to uh, move on with life is having the burden of so much um, you know disappointments hmm? because things did not work your way Things did not, again, with the Prince of Pentacles in reverse and the Princess of Wands in reverse, you know, you, you didn't even have the opportunity to make it go, you know, an extra mile, you know, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't even shine to make it work. This is about a relationship with the lovers in reverse. Something just, you know, got split apart. I want to say earlier also I picked out on the uh, third party influence. Hmm? You feel so much um, you separating ways is so wrong, is so unfair. That is the energy which I'm getting through from this reading. Okay? It's almost like you didn't want this to happen, but you forced out of this uh, union which you had with this lover's card and reverse. You didn't want it to be reversed. You wanted it to work out. But unfortunately, the partner might be with someone else already. Okay, and you feel it was very wrong. You're breaking apart 
them breaking apart from you was very wrong towards you. You don't want to think straight. Even hmm? with the justice card and the ace of swords, it's almost like you don't want to accept the truth of the situation, the reality of the situation. You're not thinking straight somehow. Somehow your mind is very much mm, a little negative right now. I might be speaking to the Aquarius or the Cross Watchers, okay? It's almost like however you look at this situation with the Virgo, um, sorry, with the Hermit card here. Some of you might be dealing with the Virgo. I'm going to speak to Aquarius. Or any other air sign as well. A scorpion. A water sign. Air sign. Anyways. Um, it's almost like how much you were. Like any angle you look at it, uh, look at it from. You just can't see it. You know. You blinded. Um, about the whole situation. It's like they did me wrong. You just can't accept it. I know it's a little brutal uh, up here, but that's the way they're showing me. You don't want to see it any other way. Hmm? I want to say you're still stuck in this um, energy about this person walking away. Okay? By regards to what you have lost, you're still stuck exactly. Eight of Swords. Up here, that's why I kept saying you are forced out of this relationship. You have no choice anymore. And that is really affecting you mentally as well. Because they showed me everything uh, in the mental space with the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Justice card in reverse. It's everything about how could they do this to me? You know, you just can't understand the concept of, you know, why they left. It's, it's, it's a difficult pill to swallow right now. How much about you, John? Because the story is very clear. Uh, you're still attached to them somehow. You still, you still can't cut the cords. You still think about this person and what you had. Even after you lost the chance with this person, you're still attached to them. Your whole being is attached to them. Even if you're physically apart, it's almost like your soul is with them. Hereford in reverse. Everything has died out. Okay? Yet, you still it's a very toxic energy actually whatever I'm picking out from your reading is very toxic yeah, I'll get a couple of uh, dislikes here but um, I could be speaking directly to the cross watcher as well and not the Aquarians but this is what what they really want to show is a person who's um, who's not wanting to you know See, see it as it is, okay? Not, even if they had to walk away, they are not able to unplug. They're not able to break the cords. I also want to say, whoever this person I'm speaking to, Still things, even after, you know, everything has slipped out. The chance, the opportunity has slipped out of their hand, okay? This first, uh, the person whom you're dealing with might already be with another person, okay? And involved with another person. Still, your energy is coming through as someone who still thinks there is still a chance. Even when they showed me is a, um, sorry, um, Princess of Wands in reverse, Princess of uh, Pentacles in reverse, there is no way, you know, 
there is a potential to make this work, even to bud again. Yet your energy which is coming through is someone who is not thinking straight and who is thinking they can manifest it. Yes, because transition is like, you know, it, it's almost like time being. I'm going to fix this. If it was in reverse, it's like completely, you know, I, I keep saying for me, uh, the death card in reverse is like completely underground. But this person, you know, uh, this person is, you know, it's like temporarily letting go with the motive, okay, because it's clear for them what they're up to, okay. Uh, wheel card was a, was a card behind deck to make things go in their favor. You know, this is a creepy reading. A little creepy. Sorry. Um, with the deck card and the two of wands, someone is really, because the two of wands is still looking back into the reading. Okay? So someone is not, you know, actually letting go because for them they know exactly what they want it's almost like you know a temporary giving into the situation with the intention that slowly gradually things will work out they're planning to work on something which they have completely uh, you know lost the cup has drained out completely between these two people okay now um they're disappointed they have to walk away but this person's um agenda is a little different you know they you know it's a weird reading weird for me as well because they are under the impression that they can fix this slowly hmm? very determined okay very determined uh, same person okay they are all went but they're very determined they're actually like this this is what i need to do okay always planning this is how it's going to be okay uh, because again Heart space is affected. The emotions are affected. And they're going to, you know, act accordingly. What needs to be done. S something about this person is very, um, not criminal minded, but it's almost like they don't want to give up. I am just not going to give up yet. Even if the other people think I am walking away. Okay, I'm moving on. Exactly. I, there was a reason I had to pull this card because that world card in reverse. I'm not actually leaving. Remember wheel card was something for me. It's like turning things in my favor. Okay? Turning things how I want. Here, this person seems to be pretending to work your way okay but i don't think so okay they're still um nine of wands in reverse they're still stuck they, they have no intention to actually move who are you <laughs> we would like to know you in the comments now Again, with the Four of Pentacles, this person is not uh, just willing to let go of the, because it's precious and they have no intention to let go of this person. Not without a fight. We are not seeing things clearly. And I also want to say this person is very scared about losing. Okay, If they don't do this, okay, there is something which is coming through. If they don't pretend to walk away, things will go pretty bad. So they have to. Okay, it's almost like you know, mm, uh, theatric. 
to you know to get things moving for them yeah um, you know it's like a mutual understanding okay i'm leaving okay let's be friends and then the friendship is the knight of pentacles okay the emperor and the knight of pentacles wherever it is okay that's how this person wants to re-enter slowly get back into the picture hmm? but there is this um, fear I might lose lose out hmm? lose out yes I might not get okay even with the four of pentacles and the sun card it's almost like um, you know it's it's there is a sphere with the four of pentacles in reverse and the sun card. I will not get what I'm aiming for. It's up there in the clouds. But then in reverse, it's like not optimistic. This person is uh, wanting to do everything in their power. Okay, to keep afloat. Okay, keeping their head above the water. Hmm? But I know this is a very slow reading because it's taking uh, uh, very much scared, anxious. I'm telling you this person's mind is a little, a little clouded because I'm not getting the energy because we are going back and forth, back and forth. This is what I want, but then I'm scared. Okay, what if I lose this person completely? That's not... That's the reason why it's not coming completely because the person's energy whom I'm getting is pretty much confused. Yes, very scared with the Prince of Wands and it is what if things doesn't go my way? Yeah, what if I don't get what I really want if I actually walk away? Tower and reverse. Okay, this is almost like. Uh, something which has, you know, happened in the past already. Okay, things might have, you know, sh you know, it's it's like a rattle the world. You know, the world is upside down. It's not working right now. I'm telling you, the energy of this person is just, it's it's dramatic. Yeah? I'm going to walk away. We're going to be friends. But this person doesn't have any intention to actually walk away for good. It's a weird reading. Yeah, because the Queen of Swords, I might be speaking directly to the Aquarius. I don't want to say it, but um, yeah. Because I don't see the other person's energy here. They wanted to break the deck into three different uh, parts to show me what exactly. And in one, one part there was just two cards. And the other part was like, you know, walking away but just... Yeah. You have to continue. Yeah, very much. Very much. You know, even being single, they don't like it. They don't want to be single. Okay? Uh, Prince of Cups is someone who's very, um, you know, wondering. Who's wondering, do I still have this cup? I guess she's actually watching the cup up here and the contents of the cup. Do I still have this um, love for this person? what is it did we actually have something going okay so much confusion in this person's mind okay and she just doesn't like to be in this space what she wants to do is heal her heart okay and get what she wants plain story it's it's a wicked story but it's a very plain story it's like out there nine of cups she wants to heal her heart and get what she actually wants hmm? uh, and she's not thinking straight. She's not even listening to her inner voice. For some reason, her head is completely, um, you know, 
filled with mud. I might lose a couple of subscribers here, but a uh, full car in reverse. Pretty much very calculated, very calculated approach. Okay, this person is not looking out in the future really. This person is looking back into the past, how to get back. You know, it's taking a U-turn back into the other person's life. Okay, transitioning this whole relationship again. Huh? Losing faith over this situation, but the way they are thinking is, okay, a little fucked up, okay, but it's very calculated. This is what I want, this is what I'm going to do about it. Um, losing faith, okay, L has no uh, faith in how things will move from here. Even even previously, I told about, you know, I, I'm going to do all this. But will it actually work? Same energy. Okay, losing faith in how um, how how I can ho have a hold over this whole situation. Will I be able to, you know, make it work the way I want it? This person is thinking a lot about this whole strategy. <laughs> Telling you, wicked. Um, yeah, but I also have. Um, I sympathize with this person, okay? This person really loves the other person. Otherwise, they won't go to these extents. So there is a reason. They are not crazy, um, you know, batshit crazy or anything. They, they, there is only one way I can put it. Blinded by love. Okay. Ten of swords. They feel very betrayed. Even, uh, I guess it was the same reading in which I told, uh, showed you the justice card in reverse. And uh, a couple of other cards, Ace of Swords in reverse and something else, okay? The way they think is like, you know, the third party shouldn't have come in between us. It's so wrong to me, yeah? Like, you know, everything about, you know, they feel betrayed. They feel betrayed. That is a reason they can't get over it. There's 10 swords on the back and it's not easy to get over that. No. Hmm? Prince of Prince of Cups and Princess of Swords in reverse. I want to say now. Okay, when I spoke about betrayal, that card has plenty of meanings, but I only picked on the betrayal part. Okay, it's not all about love anymore, because I was speaking about love. There's a correction here. It's not all about love, okay? I want to say this person is not really thinking. How do I put it straight? There is so much about them, okay? Uh, plenty of uh, cards showed me the same things. Uh, when I saw the King of Cups and the uh, King of Cups in reverse and the King of Wands, plenty of um, they're not being themselves. Okay, uh, they can't get over the fact that this has happened to them. The injustice has happened to them. The betrayal has happened to them, and it's almost like a revenge mechanism. Like you know. It's not love, if I can put it plainly. It's not really love anymore. There is an aggression, okay? There is an aggression about the person. You know, it, it's, it's not pure love anymore. We cannot just, you know, tag it under you know, they're doing all this for the sake of love. No. No. Hmm? Five swords and three of wands. They are still expecting. They are still expecting to th uh, for things to come back to them. Hmm? And the tactic which they're using is like, it's not worth fighting anymore. They have to be on the same um, side of the enemy. Okay. Here, uh, there is a one phrase which is coming through. Um, I'm not sure. Um, 
Be close to your friends. I don't know. I have to look it up. Like, you know, be close to your friends, but keep your enemies closer. That's what came through this five swords and the three of wands. It's almost like you are you are pretending to be in their team, but not actually. You have your own agenda. Yes, three of pentacles. Three of pentacles on your. There are so many people. You are not actually collaborating with them being on their team. No. I'm telling you, this is a wicked reading. And I don't think so anybody is going to own up for this reading as well. No one is going to claim this reading. Um, it's almost like they want to, you know, turn the judgment. Okay? Literally make a judgment. Twist the judgment in their favor to get this Ten of Cups again. Yeah? Yes, all they want is to sit pretty and have it all again with the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Have it all together again. They're going to change the verdict. They're not just walking away. They aren't really walking away. I think I'll stop you. You get the picture. Let me know. Very interesting reading, but very wicked. Very negative as well. So let me know in the comments. Until next time, this is Marisha. You're my channel. Good luck. Bye bye.